everybody, it's Margaret and it is Monday so I'm bringing you the weekly sales update. It's been a really good week. I have had quite a few sales. Um, by far eBay outsold Etsy by a lot this week, which is fine. You know, some weeks I've got, you know, it's really strong on eBay and other weeks really strong on Etsy. So I'm really glad that I cross uh, post most of my items so that I have more eyes um, viewing them. So I'm going to try something a little different today. Normally I have my, let's see if I can point at it, my um, spreadsheet kind of hidden, but I thought, oh, let's just, let's just have it down there so you can see what I'm looking at um, as I'm going along. And also I went back to check how many items I listed this past week and I didn't keep a close track so I was trying to count and remember about where I started. But I knew we had the plush challenge going in our group, the International League of Thrifters, last week. Um, so that kind of gave me a good idea of where I was. There were some other smalls and other items that I listed along the way as well. Um, and I did, I did not still get all my plush listed. I still have some that I need to finish photographing and listing. But this week we've got a new challenge and that is the mug, the coffee mug challenge because I have got a laundry basket full of coffee mugs that I need to photograph and and list. So yeah, that's this week. So it's super exciting. It's I'm really enjoying, I know I've kind of gotten on, on a tangent here, but I'm really enjoying uh, the listing challenges that we have um, each week because it just seems to focus the attention in a certain area and um, yeah, motivate to get to get us going or to get me going anyway. And the cool thing is, is if let's say a lot, you know, some people are like, I don't have any mugs or some people said, I need to go get some mugs. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't have to have mugs. You know, if you don't have mugs, then just plug in your numbers for whatever you're going to focus on for the week. And if you don't have mugs, you don't have to go out and buy mugs. Just list what you got. If you want to get mugs, sure, go for it. But anyway, that's that. So now the numbers. <sighs> now I'm out of breath. And I need to move my sticky. Look, I, I, made, <laughs> I made this little guy to help me remember to look at the camera because I'm the camera's up here. And uh, I, I stuck my sticky over there. So I'm looking at him. He's over. That's weird. <laughs> All right. So here. There, now I can look at you. All right, <laughs> all right. So let's start with eBay because eBay won. So <laughs> I sold two Laurel Birch cats. This these went actually um, sold last night, um, and it was this one and this one. And the guy, for whatever reason, he paid both of them separately before I could invoice him to combine the shipping. So I did end up refunding um, some of his shipping because, yeah, I mean, it was not a big deal. So. I had a sale going on in my shop. So this little kitty sold for $14.39 and this one sold for $18.39. So you can see here, I, on this one I bought it for a dollar, this one I bought for two dollars and these are the shipping, now this one had, he paid six something for shipping so that's why I knocked the five bucks off, I sent him five bucks back. Um, so the combined there, the first one, my net was $11.61, and on this blue one, my net was $15.29. Not bad. I picked these up at a garage sale. Okay, you're going now. You're going now, too. Okay. The next lot, um, these all went, you know, were sold yesterday as well. They are VHS tapes of painting seminars. And these were painting seminars that my grandmother went to. She was a china painter. I probably told you that before. Um, but these were all, I mean, they look like this. They're not professionally like shot type videotapes. They are, you know, the lady that's teaching the class probably had somebody set up a video camera and then they create this little cover and, and yeah, so they're nothing fancy. So if you saw them out, you might not think much of them. And um, I'm going to yawn. Goodness, hang on. I'm so sorry. <gasps> I promise I'm not bored. <laughs> I just need more sleep. Um, so these were not, these were, you know, something I didn't pay for. So I gave her a really good deal. She sent me, you know, best offers on all of them. And then we combined, you know, did one big shipping. Um, so for all of them, she paid $111. So I'll flip through real quick so you can see what she got. So there's this one, Smoky Roses dresser set, grounding techniques, just so you have an idea of what they look like. I mean, I have more like this one. It just looks like a you know photocopied, you know cover, and that's what the tape looks like. Um, but like I said, they are from painting seminars that my grandmother went to. Uh, this one's a much nicer 
type one, it was way big, very big. This is a big one too. Um, so I'm clicking out of all of those. Okay, that's the next one. So on um, all of those, that she spent $111. And I charged her $11.50 shipping because I was out. <laughs> and I didn't remember that two of them were really the big, they had the double um, tapes in there. So they ended up being heavier than I expected. Um, but I still felt like I got a really good price for everything because I just kind of threw a number at them. I didn't have a whole lot to go on. You know, there's not a lot of that out there. So I put high numbers on it like I do. Um, so I was happy to take the, the offers. And I also sent her a message saying, hey, I've got some more. I'd love for them to go to somebody who's going to enjoy them. You know, send me an offer and we can work something out. So we'll see. So she, um, the shipping actually cost $21.93 rather than what I kind of estimated, guesstimated how much they were going to weigh. Um, but still, I made $87.69. So that's pretty good. Um, and then next, so let me scroll down, is this uh, Closin' A type um, bell. It's a little bell. And I paid 50 cents for it, I think at a garage sale. And it sold for $15. I took a best offer. And after shipping and fees, my net was $13.56. And this little false scrap pie bird sold. I thought it was so cute. Um, after I bought it, I went and looked it up. And, they, and you can get them for not that much. I mean, there's a lot out there. There's a lot of different colors and styles. And I mean, from as little as $5 to up, you know, but as I say, I always tend to price higher because I can take a best offer, but somebody bought it um, when it was on sale for $17.09. So I, I was happy with that. And so after shipping and fees, my net was $16.88. It's a cute little thing. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> okay, and then this is a ledger. Um, this was in from my grandmother's collection as well. She was a meticulous um, record keeper. So she, yeah, like I said, she kept a lot of records. So this um, cost me zero. It's sold on sale for $17. No, no, $10.79. So after shipping and fees, my net there was $8.42. So this kind of falls into that vintage office supply type category um, that can do well, depending on what it is. And then this was a tiki mug that I picked up that may be one of those Sarah mugs like they talk about on the thrifting board, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that Sarah stands for smash and run away um, because <laughs> I don't know anything about tiki, but um, there are ones that are just like horrible and I didn't, I don't know. So I picked it up um, for, where are you? I picked it up for... Now you see what I'm going like, where is it? Where did it go? There it is. Picked it up for a dollar. Um, I took a best offer of $15 on it. And after shipping and fees and everything, see, look, it costs a little more to ship than I had anticipated. But that's okay. I wonder why that was. Because I, mean, I guess it was kind of heavy. But anyway, um, it sold for eight. Uh, my net, there was $8.46. Still pretty good. And then this was listed during our plush challenge. I actually got this dinosaur when uh, Chris... Bonafide Hustler came to town and we all went on a thrifting ride along, whatnot together, um, run around. It was fun. Um, so I picked this dinosaur up at Goodwill for $2 and it sold, let's say I took a best offer of $13.50 and this was going overseas. So I went to the global shipping program and my net there was $9.88. And <laughs> I need to have a sleeping challenge, it looks like. <laughs> All right, I sold some more cufflinks. You know how I love selling uh, men's accessories. Actually, that should be one of our next challenges because I have so many cufflinks and tie tacks and tie bars that I need to list. Oh, okay, it's coming. It's got to come. <laughs> jewelry. Maybe it'll fall into that jewelry challenge. Um, all right, focus. So I picked this up for 30 cents. It must have been in a lot where everything averaged out to be about 30 cents when I went back and looked. They sold for $36.90. So after shipping and fees, my net there was $35.51. Pretty good. And I don't think these were any kind of brand either. No, no. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Come on, had to have a little fun there. Okay. So this, again, um, I just did a learn along with this Cambridge Rose Point um, that I was going through my grandmother's things and I thought it might help get me to go through more of her her boxes of stuff that I have um, if I 
learn along, do a video where I'm learning about it and I share what I learn. So this was in the learn along video. And I took a best offer on this one of $31.50, which is an amazing deal for whoever got it because they, they're really pricey. But I, you know, rationalized with myself, well, I am trying to downsize and I still have a storage locker that is at least halfway full of boxes of my grandmother's things that I, it's just been really hard to get through. Boy, this is just turning into therapy session. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, so I took the best offer because I'm, I'm trying to, you know, let go of all the stuff. So, yeah. Um, I still haven't done the next one. I thought I was going to be so good and do one, you know, learn along a week. And then it just, uh, it's hard. So maybe I can try for one a month. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make my year goal of having the storage locker cleared out. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so I sold it for $31.50. And so after shipping and fees, my net there was $25.09. Still a nice profit. And the person got a really good deal. And then my brain sold. <laughs> Some of you might think my brain sold long ago, but no, it sold this week. <laughs> this is another item that I picked up uh, when Chris and uh, we had the green room uh, meetup in Houston. And this was an I Heart Guts Big Brain Plush. Um, I paid $2 for it. And it was uh, it sold on sale for $17.49. So my net there was $12.84. And here's what I don't understand. Between you and me, you can buy these new for $19.99, like on a museum website. Because when I went and looked it up, at first my heart sank, and I was like, oh, man, I'm not going to be able to ask what I want for this thing because you can buy it brand new for 20 bucks. And I thought, you know what? Forget it. I'm going for the gold. And I listed it for 25 <laughs> You just never know. I mean, you never know. But it's sold for about $17.50, 17 so... Some Starbucks mugs sold, you guys. <sighs> okay, these mugs I picked up for 50 cents and uh, they sold for $20.03 when I had the sale going. I may have mentioned this once before, but I don't, I mean, people are, you know, the Starbucks mugs, people are really looking for them and excited when they find them. And I was too for a long time and I pick them up and sometimes I would research and sometimes I wouldn't because I was just thinking Starbucks, yay. Um, but they are really slow sellers for me. So I think you got to take a look at which, which ones they are um, because some are, I don't mind sitting on things, but man, you know, <laughs> I think some of them sell better than others is basically what you got to know. And I don't know. I mean, I think the city or the, you are here. I don't know. Those may be the ones that are better to look for, but um, yeah, so I have some more Starbucks mugs in there that I need to list this week. Um, but yeah, I was happy. Focus, goodness, this is going to be a long video, you guys. I, I guess I needed to talk. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, so 50 cents for these. They sold for $20.03. So after shipping and fees, my net was $18.08. .08. But I'm glad they sold. And then some buttons sold. And I, I couldn't find them in my spreadsheet. I think... I think I bought them in a thrift store or a little antique store when I was out with my mom in East Texas because I couldn't, I'm pretty sure that's where I got them, but I can't remember for sure, for sure. Um, so I put down here that I, I picked them up for 50 cents. It may have been a dollar, but I wouldn't have spent more than that on them. Um, I took a best offer of $10 because I have had them for a little bit. Um, and so after shipping and fees, my net was $7.89. Cool little blue flowery buttons. And then this lot sold. Whew. <laughs> this, you know, I, I love going through the toy stuff and I grab these horses. So there's this big black horse and this tan horse. And then there's this, I don't know what this was from. And then that's a little Lego horse. And then this gray horse. And then this other one, I didn't know what it was from. And then some little um, hurdles for them to jump over. I'm sure it's called something else for horses though. Um, but yeah, so this guy messaged me and he he's overseas and he wanted to know would an action figure sit on these horses? And I'm like, I don't know. I guess it depends on the action figure. So in my mind, I'm like thinking of my kids' action figures like Iron Man, like sitting on this horse, riding the horse, you know. Maybe this guy likes to play. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's cool, whatever. Um, 
But uh, so anyway, this is where <laughs> when someone sends you a message about an item, there's a new option, new-ish, where you can um, respond with an offer. So that's what I did on this one. I responded to his questions and gave him the exact measurements and all this stuff. And I responded with the offer of $29.99 on these horses. And he accepted it. So <sighs> yay. <laughs> So I put four dollars here. I these little horses and these um, hurdle things. I know I picked up in the ten cent tub. The bigger ones I may have paid for them at a garage sale, but I just lotted them all together because I couldn't find them in my in my um, spreadsheet. So I put that I paid four dollars for all of this. It was probably less because yeah no. Um, so yeah, he spent $29.99 and after shipping and fees, my net was $19.60 on these horses. Cool. Cool. And then my Einstein mug sold. So there's Albert Einstein. And I just did, I haven't uploaded it because I, I made it this morning, a video on how I ship mugs. I've done it before in another shipping video where it was a bunch of different stuff that I was shipping out, but I think I'm going to start separating them out because when someone's looking for how do you ship a mug um, they don't want to weed through all the like I don't care about how you ship wrapping paper Margaret um, so yeah it's more focused focus right okay so Einstein mug sold and this was a weird one too the person bought it I've never had this happen before so it, it said you know sold but then the it said something like you know, a pending payment from PayPal, but there was not the option for me to send them an invoice because it had already was already registering that it was sold. So I don't know if they were waiting for their money to come into PayPal or I don't know what happened. So it was like a week that it was sitting there and I was about to message the buyer and then call eBay or I was trying to figure out what do I do because I can't relist it. I can't. All right. And then it just went cha ching and there was the money and it was it was ready to sell and go. So that was good. Um, so yeah, I paid a dollar for this Einstein mug, sold for $17.99, and my net there was $14.76. And the week before last, we had a board game challenge, and again, I didn't get all my board games listed either. I got quite a few though, but it was nice just to have that focus, right? Get some of this stuff up there, and it's selling. That's the good thing. <laughs> so um, Candyland board game. I bought it for a dollar, and my uh, it sold for $19.99, and it was missing a piece and everything, and I disclosed it, missing one card, and which card it was. So, <clears throat> but this was a vintage one. This was a 1984 one. Uh, so my net there was $12.19. I forgot. You know, I was thinking, and I even told Tanya, oh, yeah, I've got these, um, the board game boxes, the sh you know, the ship that's specifically sized for board games. Um, and so I just kind of guesstimated again. I forgot that it was a large flat rate. I was just thinking, well, it's going to be about, you know, 13 bucks or something like that. Um, no, it's a large, it was a large flat rate. So got to do your homework, but you know what? You just have to, you live and learn. You just got to roll with it. You win some and you lose some. And this is not even a loss. Whatever. What am I talking about? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> there are lots of lessons to be learned this week. <laughs> so here's another one. I listed some clothes. I had um, some baby clothes, um, and I have quite a bit more, actually. I don't know if you can hear the dryer. I have some stuff in the dryer. I'll tell you about that in a second. But, you know, I I can't pop up my big photo tent and take lots of pictures when in the evening when the kids are trying to go to bed. So I've started, you know, finding things that are flat, that I don't have to have a three-dimensional upright photo of them, and I have this white, you know, foam board, and I'm just, you know, taking pic trying to get pictures done in the evenings that way of things that are like books or tins or little, you know, patterns, things like that, playing cards, whatever. Um, but long story short, I was like, okay, I'm going to try some of these baby clothes. So I had this black and orange Harley Davidson, and I put on their onesie, um, and this is where the, the story comes in. And then a couple of them I listed on Etsy. Now, onesie, I have learned, is a Gerber brand name and is not to be used if it's not a Gerber product. Um, I didn't get the message through eBay. You know, and usually Etsy's not too strict about stuff, but I guess, you know, they, Gerber people have watchers out there looking for this. So I got a message from Etsy saying, we have taken down one of your listings because of 
you know, the onesie thing, you know. So luckily this sold the same night. So I had gone over to change my other items. So because, you know, eBay catches you and you'll get suspended if you have too many, you know, things against you, whatever you want to call it. So I went over there to, to change all of them and uh, this sold. So, whew, um, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> long story, but you need to know, right? I didn't know because um, I don't usually sell kids clothes, baby stuff. So, I uh, bought this for 50 cents, sold for $9.99, and that net me $8.17. And when I shipped it out, I had another little onesie that I threw in. It was like rad like dad or something like that. Just, just because. All right, and now for the Etsy sales. This is, oh dear, I'm going to have to pause. Oh, before I move on to the Etsy sales, there was one other thing I I'm, I'm, was going to tell you about. So, it had to do with the kids' clothes. I had picked up some really nice um, boutique type kids clothes at a garage sale from that lady that does the house cleaning stuff, the house reorganizer, and then some other things here and there and, and thrown into a tub. And so I'm going to try today to take over a lot to this kids consignment center. What I did was I tried to figure out like how much was about when I spent about $30. So this is about $30 of my output just to see like what my profit would be. If I take her $30 that I've spent, what am I getting back in return from those items? So, um, and I tried to pick up only things that were really nice brands or looked, you know, they had to be really nice condition. I didn't want to mess with anything stained or torn or worn looking. So at the moment I have them in the dryer, just kind of fluffing up. Um, so yeah, that's going to happen today. Cool. So here we go. Here comes Etsy. <sighs> So here we have a thimble that sold. This was also something from my grandmother's collection. It sold for $14.99. Let me see if I can scooch it. Oh, no. That went the wrong way. Oh, there we go. So you can see it. Oh, boy. So you can see a little bit of the title is what I'm trying to get you to see. A little bit of that. Um, so, yeah. There's the, the item there. Um, so after shipping and fees, my net was $14.37. Oh, boy. Here's another one. So, this Morton Salt Girl mug sold, which is awesome. I picked it up for 50 cents, sold for $11.99, and after shipping and fees, my net was $12.58. Here's the thing. I went in there, and I thought, in my brain, I've got three Morton Salt Girl mugs. Two of them have white images, like so, um, and one of them is in the yellow dress. So it was really easy. to like Those are the two white ones. There's the yellow one. Grab it. Go. Sent it off. And then I was looking through some things, and then I saw this mug. And I had forgotten that I had two white and two yellow. But this one, she's got yellow hair. And this one, she's got the darker hair. I was like, oh, no. I didn't even look. I just thought, yellow dress, grab it and go. Um, yeah, so I had a 50-50 shot of having grabbed the right one. And so I went back and looked, and whew, I had sent the right one. Thank goodness, right? Did I tell you the total? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, next up, sold some fabric. This was just a remnant piece of this um, striped seersucker type fabric. Looked like such. It still had the vintage tag on it and everything, which was nice. Had the measurements, what it was. So that was that. And so I picked that up for 25 cents at thrift store. Sold for $9.99. And so after shipping and fees, my net was $9.92. And another pair of vintage eyeglasses frames sold. And these went overseas as well. I can't remember off the top of my head where they went. Nope, can't remember. <laughs> I bought these for $2.40 at um, the Disabled American Veterans Thrift Store. They sold for $29.99. And after shipping and fees, my net was $24.89. And some more vintage wrapping paper sold. This was not in that big lot that I had gotten for where everything was 10 cents. Um, but this one I picked up for a quarter. So still pretty good. Um, sold for $14.99. So after shipping and fees, my net was $14.60. It's worth looking at. And normally, I, I mean, because this one seems pretty generic and kind of like, okay, it's just white and love and blah. Um, not like super vintage. Like some of them are pops of color and crazy, you know, graphics and stuff. But I mean, even this, I, I'm willing to take the chance. I have tons and I'm sure I have tons listed that will take a while to sell, but you never know what someone's looking for at the moment. 
And then a, a vintage book that I've had for a while has sold. And I'm a sucker for vintage books, I, kids' books. I pick them up all the time. I have stacks of them, but I can't help it. Um, so this is Harry and the Terrible What's It. Picked it up for 50 cents, sold for $12.99. Um, so my profit there, my net was $12. So my week was really good. I made $14, $14. Lucky at four hundred fourteen dollars and twenty eight cents um, this week on eBay and Etsy um, with the output of <clears throat> twenty one dollars and twenty cents. <sighs> so that was really good. Um, and I think did I mention how many things I listed this week? I went through trying to look, and it was about fifty items. Forty nine fifty is what I'm thinking. Um, so what I'm thinking I'm going to try doing this week as well is uh, I'm going to count more accurately how many items I have listed, but I want to also share how much I'm spending during the week on products like at garage sales and thrift stores and things like that because not only will it give you an idea, but it'll keep me on target because sometimes I go nuts and I'm like a hoarder. I buy so much stuff and I need to really keep an eye on Am I spending more than I'm making? I don't think so, but it's good to it's good to keep an eye on it. You know, I mean, because it's every little thing it starts eating into it, and you got to keep an eye on your goals, especially if you're doing this to pay bills or take a trip or you know you've got goals for that money. But if you're turning around and spending it, or when I say you, I mean me. If I'm turning around and spending it, you know, like sixty dollars at the garage sales this weekend, which I'm sure I did. Um, yeah, it starts to dig into that $400 for the week. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching. Let me bigger size it, bigger size it. Um, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Oh, and also, somebody mentioned in one of my last videos to ask the watchers to check out the comments section because she said that frequently she will read through the comments and she ends up learning things. I do too all the time. Um, I get lots of people commenting, correcting me or telling me, oh, I know what that is. It's this, that, the other, or whatever, um, which I'm completely happy with because the more information you've got, the better off you are. And I'm by far not the expert on many much at all. <laughs> um, that sounded weird. I, I wouldn't consider myself an expert on anything. I know a little bit of, about a lot of things, but not a lot of bit about a little things. Oh gosh, I should quit while I'm ahead. Okay, okay. But anyway, make sure uh, you have liked and subscribed. Check me out on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. Also come over and visit us at the International League of Thrifters where we have lots of fun and, and listing challenges and things. Um, and go out and enjoy yourselves, you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.